So, uh, on the first day, it was like me, that guy, Eric, I don't know if you ever met him. He, he lives there. Yeah, I think so. Vetla. Yeah. Is this Loser so Semis? Yeah, we were. Yeah, we went to the, the train stop, but there was a Starbucks and Mafia wanted coffee. So we were just sitting there talking. It was me, Azusa, and that guy. And there was like this um this paraplegic in the hallway. There was like this paraplegic guy in a wheelchair, like sitting near near a table. And like Azusa. Oh wait, quarters. Said, Azusa afterwards said he's like. I heard him right here, but I didn't know what he was talking about. Alright, so Loser's Quarters, aka Loser Gets Fifth between Chum and Weedle. Chum, hot off of the matchup against uh, Control Defeat, a game five set, correct? Yeah. But Weedle, a whole nother monster, ranked in the Philly area at a. Uh, what's the place? Six? Nine? Weedle. Weedle. Nine, okay. Chum up to seven, yeah, a really nice follow up. Yeah, he found some really nasty tippers when he needed them. Only 36%, but uh, you know, something, at least from your set with him, is just whenever Chum jumps, that that's when you want to go after him. You know? His, his really big moments come from grabs. You have to, and he's just like, it's, it's, you have to read like, okay. where, when he's in the aerial though, so it's kind of difficult a lot of times. Sometimes he'll just try to punish a different timing of fair and get hit in the face by the first block, the early fair. And as you said, it was just yeah. like, he's like, okay, I think he's going to jump back late fair. And he just does double fair or something of the sort. Correct. Wow. It's a I guess he's just oh, down like 60%. Like, I've been trying to use Dyke okay, Castle matchup. I think it's not very bad. You, you yeah. found one really juicy one on FD, I believe. Yeah. That was, that was in a combo, though, wasn't it? It wasn't a combo, correct. Yeah. So, yeah. I was just a follow-up. Like, if I can get it, yeah. Well, who it does make a great follow-up, but it's just so hard to land on in general. And this is also what the neutral that you struck to with Chum, you know, and uh... I think uh, like almost every time this uh, matchup is going to be... I'm not I able to find the sweet spot. Oh, it just goes over it. Right? Yeah, that works too. Yeah. He missed the up gets on the Mafia showed uh, Weedle something very, very interesting in the Peach matchup. Is if a Peach tries to shield grab another Peach's forward air, if you intentionally miss the L cancel, her yeah, lying down animation just goes right under it. This shit's so funny. But, like, you had this free but, uh, <laughs> you can just wait. Like, they're gonna be grabbing at the shield anyway. You'd be beating them with, like, almost every single one of the other options. Yeah, because you're Peach. I'm no. Peach. My shield crush is amazing. Your shield stun is fucking ridiculous. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not really the shield stun. Yeah. It's the shield stun. Yeah. I, I, I literally can't move out of my shield. Fair, back air, fair. Everything's plus four. So that's down air. I'm just, I'm just never able to move out of my shield against Peach when I know I can move out. It's so dumb. I hate it. Ooh, 85% KO. Real nice. Yeah, that's, that's something that Weedle has that, like, you, you, don't, you don't do the, the turn up drop. Edge guard that well, it looked like. At least against uh, Chong. I don't think he got it once. Oh, yeah, he did. Go timing, but, uh, yeah. Ooh. If he's far away, I just throw it up and it. And then I hope to, like, change my party. Alright. Isn't that the last thing? It's a grab. Oh, you got it. Here, I just got out of the AFs, man. I can get something done on it. Yeah. Oh, quick grab. Oh, it would have been a really big moment for him. But instead, he actually only ate like 20% though. So, an in, in upset in the making, but best of five, still a long way to go. As you can see, Rush is a really strong kind of pick. Yeah, you did you two stock him here? Oh, was two. Yeah, I think it was two. I'm in three max. Yeah, it was. It was, it was such a long set. Oh, nice touch. It, it was two or three, I believe. Oh, could have actually probably just hit him after that uh, down down air instead of going for a grab. I'm not sure what he was trying to call out with that. Eighty nine. A uh, super slick pivot grab from miles away. Definitely would have tilted me. See how far away you are with the light shield? That's crazy. Down throw trying to push a Peach off the stage and uh, go yeah, for an inch card. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, Peach can't really do something like that. 
dash back. PC drop. Oh my god. Fin finding the up tilt that uh, reaches through. F Smash has one very tiny area that it reaches the Dreamland platform. Up tilt was a little bit more forgiving, but still, that was a, a pretty tight spacing to hit. Okay. Oh no. Dot eyes, boy. Farmer Peach. Oh, got Mr. Mr. Homie. Oh, right, yeah, but he got 14%. He didn't want anything to do with the uh, fight there. He's a, he's a pacifist. Not believing Could have doubled it, I think. the art of war. At least I feel like Stango has somehow doubled it me no matter what, so. <laughs> Ooh, gets up there. Happy it turn like, up. It looks like Chum's been uh, working on this bunch. So. Yeah, the thing is, I don't know with who. Yeah, right. Yeah. But, uh. <laughs> It's, it's one of those things where he may have just been doing his homework and analyzing, studying not only his own sets, but we've seen a lot of Marth Peach as, as of late. That's true. Uh, you know, with, with Stango doing so well and being a top player, being on stream a lot. Yep. You know, so a lot of matchups, if you play Marth, to, uh, to look at. Because, you know, just analyzing the top player sets, you, you also can learn things by watching the lower level stuff. It's more understandable, it's easier to digest, and, uh, and sometimes there's more of it. And, and, and you see, without being a top player, how other players work around certain obstacles, certain options, and, yeah, and, right. and how like they do things. They all, is that a stitch? That is a stitch, okay. It looks like he's not going to be in. Alright, let's see if we can make use of it. Yeah, I don't mind. Kind of interesting that Chum really, really respected the uh, the stitch, and Weedle didn't call him out for it. Like yeah, normally, I, it, the fear of the stitch is what people what makes people get hit by the stitch. Yeah, right, right. I, I usually just waited out. That's not. Dreamland is a, a strong counter pick for Peach, as the uh, the natural green soil just uh, promotes it's very more. Uh, fertile, yes. Yeah, more more stitch faces. They they're just growing back there. Wispy Wispy watches over them. It's just like, oh, another stitch face. Oh no. Dude, I, I super hate the way Wispy's face is textured on this stage. How it's his own layer, like separate of the tree. It just it looks so bad. It's always something that's bugged me. We didn't have too much technology back in 2001. Well, this was also like it's literally the 64 stage. Like they didn't change like oh, anything. Okay. So they so could they could have made the back. stage look better, yep. but they didn't because it's the 64 you know throwback. Shout out to DDD back there just hanging out over the tree. Oh, one right. SD, 55 percent, and uh, Marth, one of the characters, one of the few with uh, true gimp potential on Peach. Oh! Almost saw it. Almost saw a big moment. Yep. All right. One apiece. Three stitches. It was. You had, you had three stitches. Three stitches of Saturn and a dot. Not all in a row. Man, I got two stitches against him, and then I tried to pivot throw and it throws it down. You, you caught that in the set, right? What? On FD, I got a, a stitch, and I tried to pivot throw it, and for some reason Peach just threw it straight down. It's like, no. Oh, I missed it. Was, was it in the corner, left corner? No, I was in the center of the stage, he was in the corner. Uh, I was yeah, going to snipe him out of like a jumping leg or something. That. The only turn of down throw that I saw was Chumps against you, where he was just like, no. Oh, that's when I gave it, like, I, I basically handed it. Yeah. That's actually funny. Like, I purposely go for that all the time, too. It's like, I the think button trap? I think he's gonna, yeah, right, I think he's gonna run in down throw or do anything, and uh, I'm gonna just throw a turn and hope he catches it. Yeah. It's more the turn I just, I'm all over it. Yeah, there's not, really not much he can do. What is the, okay, just, just a wink. wink yeah. Yeah. It does do more percent than that. Oh, Alright. Link does 9, and Marmos do 6. Now, the Chum, yeah. what, what was his uh, stock count against you here? Was it 2 or 3? 100%. It was... It, was it? Yeah. it was like or, or did you bring it to last? Like yeah, I think you actually brought it to last. You brought it back and then, uh, you know, he started firing on all cylinders, but he just, uh, uh, he side be up tilted you or something. Like, while he's invincible. Oh, it doesn't connect! Yeah, it was just barely on space I really needed to hit that when he's spot dodging. Yeah, really hard for Will. Maybe I gotta do that one. Hey, where's, where's Tempest? Tempest was talking mad shit earlier. I'm trying to play Tempest. But, oh, about, about you? Yes. About my sick fox. Oh! Oh, yeah. I love when, when Opto kills that way. It's like, oh. Uh, it's not how it's supposed to be. 
minutes to go. <laughs> and and Marth up tilt just has a million different hitboxes that all hit their own special, unique direction. Extra percent gravy. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Down air. Oh, wave lands. Actually, almost gets him in trouble. Oh, gets around that roll. Oh, just grabs him again. Oh my God. He's playing real nice, real clean. Oh, spot dodge. It's so good. Oh. Went for a reverse fair, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Would have been fun. super slick. I thought it went just a field. Take, okay. Takes a swing in the back air and actually dies for it. I, I would have done the same thing. I don't play this character, but you know. I, I just... I just want to... Not not let there be any... Um, oh god, what is it? Like mis miscommunication. I always wanted things to be crystal clear. It's like, I'm going for you. Up tilt. <laughs> Let's see. Three up tilt in a row, uh, he wave dashes into the thing. That's the Mewtwo King. Just grab six times, and on the seventh one, they'll run into it. Oh, pokes the head! Oh, okay. Good 56. Ah! Uh, what button did he press? Oh, he nared, okay. It was so fast. I just I missed it completely. Oh, it just runs under him and crouches. He actually runs past him and crouches. There's a, a really big call out on the movement. Okay. Shark guy is helping out with the combo a little bit. Is. Giving him the later favorite box. Chum always having a little bit of trouble landing. Takes, I believe, 20% for it. But he could make something of this. Reacts. The spot dodges. Shields the jab. Weedle DIing to the ledge, not wanting to oh, okay. eat his early demise. Another reaction tech chase. That down tilt doesn't hit! Got him again. No. Oh, it tries to go for uh, mechanical tech chase with that uh, forward air. All oh, the spot dodges. Spin to win, Weedle. Spot the dodges. Weedle spinning to win, two down smashes, neither hits, and then just goes in with the nair. Fuck Peach! Yeah. That's what I say when I'm next to the comment, uh, the next to the players. Oh. Any double jump? Yeah, fuck Peach. Uh, two one bet luck. Still in it? Who? Damn. Team's legend. Wrong. Yeah. Wrong goes to Zodiac. Oh. Correct. Correct. He's out. Wrong is out. Oh, so that's Stango's in. Obviously, Stango's Stango's not in losers' quarters. That was semis. Stango will be playing Dilu. R2 Dilu. Zodiac team's legend. This is best best teams player try in Tri-State. Better than Grab and Go. If we learn anything from uh, watching Mafia versus Stango, it's that. You're never out of this match on both sides. You're just not out. Just don't. No matter how bad it looks, you can make your stuck on that. It's not terribly. I mean, it's hard, honestly. As dumb as it sounds, every time Martha's off stage, he is at risk of dying against Peach. Like, more so against Peach, I would say, than, than most characters. Between the. If, if she has a turn up in her hand. You know, the, the timing of, uh, of covering it's not his options. Easy to do. Yeah? To get the, yeah. It, it always looks easy, but I, I have no That's experience okay. with it. I'll do it against Stango, but like, he'll, oh! he'll up be early to hit the turnip. Or like, hit yeah. me as I'm going to ledge from, to drop yeah. the turnip. Yeah, there are, you know, answers to it. There's like, a lot of times where you just can't do it. Yeah. Okay. Or if you go for it, you can. Oh no, just drops right into that. And it, it appears that uh, Zodiac will actually be waiting for the winner of this set. Uh, in losers semi. I feel like this, this game happened very, very fast. I, well, it's only been two minutes, but I kind of do. I agree. I guess I I do. It doesn't feel that way because the last game was also here, so the scenery oh. hasn't changed, but the victor has. Game five. Oh, Chum Weedle. John Cena. Okay. Uh, found okay. He picked five. Picked five. That's. A, a deviation from the script. Yeah, I, I hate the a plan. The reason that I go to finals is because I really hate the platform heights like, and how they change on the, on the stage. Mm. Uh, oh, no jump? It baits me into a lot of. Uh, Off of the eye. Oh, 
Goes for a tomahawk, but gets clipped. No jump! Gets clipped by the parasol. That was really, really bad. Oh, wow, okay. He's double? He double cancel fish. That was, that was fair. Oh, goes for something big. Tries to call out a fade back. Swipes him away. Sharking these landings really well. See, this time he doesn't. That was actually great because um, him exactly. Game two on Yoshi's. Every time that Weedle was off, he you try to swat him with the back air. This time he stayed low and he didn't go after him. And he waited and he hit him with an F smash. It almost killed him. You know, it's that, it's that adaptation that's, that's super, yeah, super yeah, nice. with a little bit better spacing, that, that could be a death at even like 70%, you know? Or, or lower. Like, with the, uh, Jab, grab. Peach's grab is so good. Like, like your throws yeah, and, and, and your shit makes up. Yeah. 158. Yeah, Gotta be careful. Oh, see that? Oh, oh, gets poked! Or, well, gets caught out of his shield. Yeah, it shield pokes the... No, no, it, it shield poked him. It actually poked him? Yeah, it was the top right. Oh, top right. wow! Just goes down there. Game five on Weedle's counter pick. Honestly, oh no! Really overextended getup attack. Just busting him out of that situation, but 33%. The damage has been done. Okay. Nair is enormous. Why does Peach's Nair have to be so big? It's so small, dude. It's enormous. It's literally along her entire torso and both of her arms. Not one, but both. 84%. I mean, I feel like if we're going to plan out a move being big, I'm playing that way. Oh, I'll play some season. Yeah. Come, all right. Sorry. Nair is much bigger than it looks. Because I never expect the, the okay. hitboxes way back here to be fucking yeah, back, so strong. The back way hitboxes are not bad, you know. Alright, sl sleepy turn up. Chum just swinging the sword, hoping that he can find one solid opening to even this up in game five. One hit of both of those down smashes, despite Chum being right under him. Oh, links it. I have no idea how that actually should hit him though. He's gotta play the ground game. Chama's gotta play the ground game. He can't just keep trying to hit him with aerials. Uh, he just ran right oh, towards him! Why is it always a stitch? Oh, in a game five, <laughs> I believe the closest he's been to taking a, a set from Weedle. I'm tilted for him. I don't, I don't know. I believe a normal turnip would have finished it, though.